Hello. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Before we begin, let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. These language settings were detected on your console. Are they correct? I think we should each get a gusher for the fourth wall breaking uh, setup mode. <laughs> we're playing uh, David's Cage Bingo, and so whenever, like, we have these bingo cards, and they're in the links in the description below. You can play along with us, or if you just think you deserve it, <laughs> you can have a gusher, or whatever treat you want. Every time you get a bingo whatever, like any square, you can give yourself a treat. And if you hit bingo, what should they get? Like more treats? More treats. There's like five treats. Okay. So we're are... playing English. Brightest. We're not playing a scary game, so we don't need to do that. <laughs> I, I know, I just really I just really love how it's like, you know, oh, I'm going to play like the scariest Thank game, you. it's going to be so scary. Now select your profile. We should go with experience so we can get like the real, like... I want immersive gameplay with advanced controls, a fair challenge where mistakes can mean losing a character. Or do you want... I want to focus on story with simpler controls and more forgiving challenge with fewer chances to lose a character. What do you want? People to die or not to die? I don't want to get yelled at. That's my main thing. For being a noob or for losing characters? But both, honestly. Well, then I think you're fucked no matter what. Okay, I guess we'll go with casual because everyone, even in games where everyone hates everyone, I really think people just get attached immediately. And I'm really scared of losing robots. <laughs> Excuse me, androids. When this sign is displayed, please do not turn off your console. You are now ready to begin Detroit. Remember, this is not just a story. Oh, God. This is our future. Do you think they made her lips lip sync bad on purpose because she's doing like an uncanny valley thing? Or do you think they just did a bad job? I don't know. Like the future looked like whoop whoop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. So I believe we're playing the scene from the, uh... The demo. Yep. Here's the... That's such a David Cage-like moment where it's like, I know. this is a cool thing that he's doing. <laughs> I, uh, I'm looking for the square on the bingo right now. <laughs> it just seems like something I've seen before. Alright, here we go. Fish. Save the fish. All right, that's gotta be that's gotta be a gusher, right? For a choice that doesn't matter. Um, I, I don't, I we don't know if it matters. Maybe the fish comes back and saves the day. Yeah, what if the fish flops out and slaps a bad guy in the face? We don't know, but keep a, remember that. Mm -hmm. We're just desperate for gushers. No, right this now. isn't safe. Is that what? Is the is the fish safe? Yeah, I saved please, the fish. Please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? This is what got you in trouble in the first place, by being robo-racist. Does anyone... Do you know what the... Find Captain Allen. Oh, it pauses the scenario. Okay. I'm sure they changed it from the demo list. My men are ready to step in. Just give the order. So do you what did you do you know what like the the technical word for robot resist is? Hmm. Captain Allen. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything it moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. I mean, I don't Do you know its name? Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. So, automatonophobia covers a fear of some robots, meaning like, aut aut automaton, like acting on its own. Phobia. Uh -huh. So that 
is a possible word that you could use. So we played this in the demo. But I wonder, like, because this is uh, people with full... with intelligence. So that's like a robot versus an android, I suppose. Use L, okay. Well, no, it fears of a, fears of a representation of a sentient being. So, like, it also covers... Deviant took the father's gun. It also covers ventriloquist dummies, dolls, wax figures, and so on. So I wonder we would need something with a little bit more ability to do things. A better word? What like you... something that has uh, sentience, but I know everyone says sentience is the wrong word. Because there's a difference between a robot and an android in terms of... Yeah. Deviant's name is Daniel. Deviant. I've been watching a lot of Star Trek lately, and uh, every time Data's on screen, I'm like, he's so perfect! <laughs> I'm sure he's like six. Oh, this is new. Oh. Child didn't hear gunshots. Did we explore this last time? I don't think so. But I think the, the, the rooms are set up a little bit differently. I also remember that when we, like, our initial, initial playthrough of this first scene, we felt that we thought we were supposed to rush. But I don't think we're supposed to. Yeah, we're supposed to investigate. Well, no one's in the shower, so we failed that bingo card. Bingo square. Well, I'm sure that we'll see somebody get. There'll be so, there'll be so, there'll be an unnecessary shower scene at some point. I'm convinced. Oh, wrong room. This apartment is huge. Unfeasibly large apartment. Yes. Yeah, yes, sir. Gush at me. Ow. 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 There's a there's a gun under here. You see, it said more androids, less work. Mm. So I think part of it is that people are afraid of being replaced. Mm -hmm. Well, that's already a fear. And um, in terms of uh, well, in Las in Las Vegas, workers are going on strike right now because they don't want their jobs to be automated away. In Japan, there's actually um, a rise in automation because <laughs> bullet wound. What did I say? Right heart ventricle perforated internal bleeding. Yeah, in Japan, because they're having such a, a, like, technically a crisis, like the government stepping in and trying to do matchmaking parties. Yeah, yeah. Because so few people are just deciding to have babies and, like, don't even want to get married in Japan, that there's, like, a lot of jobs being replaced by just robots. Mm -hmm. And everyone's, like, kind of okay with it, but the government is really concerned. Yeah. Because they're like, what are we going to do when there's, like, three people left? Wait, what was his name? Deckard. Anthony. Which is probably a nod to Blade Runner. Oh, yeah. You can pick up. Cause oh, wait. One of the things is Blade Runner. Is that on this card? Oh, no. But I know it's on one of the cards. So, guys, if you're playing along, you get a gusher. I think it was that it rips off everything from Blade Runner. Yeah, but still, I mean. It's just. <laughs> just give yourself treats. You deserve it. <laughs> if you haven't already looked up bingo cards for yourself, I highly recommend, even if you're not going to play along with us, to just do it. So we get to watch Reconstructions. This reminds me a lot of um, Heavy Rain, where they have, like, you have, like, the crime scene investigation oh, stuff. Oh, where he had the special Oakley glasses? Mm-hmm. Cop shot, shot, bleh, cop shot the deviant. Google Glass Oakleys? Yeah. <laughs> Hostage witnessed the shooting. Ooh, poor girl. Oh, that's gotta be very upsetting. So there's the gun. Located. Weapon located. Weapon. So remember, we have this gun? Yep. But I don't think we want to use it. Well, when we played, um... Oh, oh, oh 
Oh shit. No big deal. I'm just gonna uh, investigate this other stuff. I like, well, you know what? I give them credit because it does make sense because they're an android. So they're like, des for this particular thing, they're designed to be chill under pressure. Yeah. Well, and it's John also, Phillips. It's also like, why would he react to that? You know? Yeah. He's like, his job is to be calm. Bullet wound to the lungs. Bullet wound to kidney. Bullet wound to other lung. I like how they show him moving in the background to like watch the scene play out. Yeah, I'm definitely, uh. Also, everyone, I know that like we love to rip on David Cage, but we were both looking forward to this game a lot. So like if it's good, we're happy. If it's bad, we're happy. Yeah. Like I don't I just seven hundred androids have been registered. Cyberlife thanks you for your purchase. Also, we are just naturally snarky by nature, and I don't want people to mistake that for like us not giving the game a chance. Cause like we're ready for it to do well too, so be looking at just the Buddha feeling Zen okay huh I mean I don't know what that is I wonder does. if there is yeah all right how do you feel do you think we got I think we got oh what's this oh he's the oh shot. yeah Is it wrong that whenever I see someone put something gross in their mouth, I'm just like, they must be nasty. Mm -hmm. Like, if they'll do that. Mm -hmm. They'll do anything. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, is this blood? I mean, then you know they're down. Yeah, they're down for like whatever. I you mean, want. like, because like, if they're willing to, if if Bear Grylls is willing to drink this, like, what else is he willing to do for you? <laughs> I bet his wife. Come any closer, or I'll jump. No! So, so we gotta just be chill. Hi, Daniel. No, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Save hostage at all costs. Gain demons' trust. Approach slowly. I know you're angry, Daniel. But you need to trust me, and let me help you. I don't want your help! Nobody can help me! All I want is for all this to stop! I just want all this to stop! Are you armed? Truth, yes. Yes? I have a gun. Drop it! No sudden moves, or I'll shoot! There! No more gun! Deviant stabilizing. Possible cause. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with. There's no way out, Daniel. Oh shit, I pressed the wrong button. What you've done is too serious. The only question is whether or not you take another innocent life. It's not up to you. I'm holding all the cards. I pressed the wrong button. If I die, she dies. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everyone, <laughs> calm down. One of the bingo cards squares definitely should be... Mari messed up. The, Mari presses the wrong button. Triangle. Triangle. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. She does. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! I mean, you messed that up for sure now. I can't stand that noise anymore! <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of here! I like that they trust us. They're not just like, no. There. I know what you wanted. Well, I mean. Ugh, trust? Yeah. You have.
have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. 99! I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Uh... Compromise? Compromise. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. Uh, I don't want to die. Reassure? You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen oh, to you. Oh, God. No All that... Okay. The other times we played the demo, we just I pushed him. You. They're gonna kill him anyway, aren't they? Yeah. Oh god. Oh. oh god, it just feels like shit because we did all this like I mean like he's put in a situation, but I mean even if he was a human you'd put him ahead of you lied yes. to me, Connor. You lied to me. Oh, software instability? Mm -hmm. I wonder if the light has repercussions on us. Mission successful. But at what cost? And but now we got that guy to be like, maybe androids are like dudes or whatever. I'm looking to see if we hit any other uh now I'm worried that because we like semi tricked that dude. All right, let's check our our. Path. So I we thought this was pretty cool. Oh, I thought it was pretty cool from the demo how they actually show you the flow chart so oh, you can go. Oh wait, there's. I wonder if there's a way to not have the deviant die. Possibly, yeah. Cause like, you see, there's all this. Oh, there's lie to D Okay. Oh, did we lie? Yeah, because we said everything was going to be okay. Oh, yeah. But I, I mean, I think this is really cool because, you know... All right, we get a, a gusher for the fish. Save fish. All right, you ready? So... Go ahead. Obviously, there's a lot of replay value if you're the type of person who really likes to go back and see all the endings, and you can actually see, like, did I get everything? Memory reset. What's this about? Oh, this is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and diets. Anne handles the kids' home care. Elementary school. Good afternoon. Wow. Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. I wonder if I would feel like, I don't know. Oh, we're one of the people looking around. No, we're one of the androids. Oh, sorry, I was referring to it as a person. Oh, right, okay. My and bad. It felt weird to say it. We're one of the people who are androids. We'll take it. <laughs> An excellent choice. <laughs> if it falls, break in, or if it detects smoke. Excuse me, how much is that one over there? The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along and I'll show you. This feels like a slave trading yeah, right block. Not to, like, disappear. Disvalue actual slavery that happened. But there it like, is. It was a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really oh, messed no. up. Oh no. What'd you say happened to it again? Uh. The car hit it. Oh. Stupid accident. Right. Uh, see. Anyway, it's as good as new now. Now he beat the shit out of it. it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. Ah. Uh, I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. Uh, My name is Kara. Creepy! I remember the uh, tech demo for this, and uh, she's quote unquote born. They put her together. Oh, yes. She I, says, I don't want to do that. And they're like, oh, okay, we'll just take you apart. She's like, no, I want to live. I want to live. I'll be obedient. That was like the scariest thing I ever saw in my if life. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Because it's the tech demo. Yeah. Just to, okay. not not the demo that they released. Yeah, it's the tech demo from like years and years ago. But just a fair warning, David Cage has a tendency to have his quote unquote strong female characters be sexually assaulted a lot, like a lot. Yeah. So I mean, 
it's interesting because when we played through Heavy Rain, obviously, if you've watched our playthrough, our character was assaulted like three or four times. In one day. And we and the thing is is that like we, but we talked to other people who their character didn't go through that, so they had a very different impression of the game than we did. Well they 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 only didn't see one thing, but they definitely saw her almost get like assaulted and then killed by that old guy. I still feel like that's a little different. Like if you're even just missing out on some of those experiences, depending on which one it is, I feel like. I just feel like it was a punishment for doing poorly. And for me, like playing the game, oh, I was this, so- they have these charging station things. I have like, I, got, I was getting like overwhelmed by the situation and I couldn't press the buttons. And then it was getting worse and worse. Did you see it said I lost my job because of androids? Help me. Oh, that sucks. I mean, at least she's right. She's riding in the front seat. Okay, oh. that's all right. At least she's not put into the trunk like that's an animal. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I just, uh... So I believe this is... I don't know in, like, any other backstory. I'm coming in, like... I don't know backstory. I just know who one of the actors is. Oh, really? Jesse who Williams. They? Who's Jesse Williams? Uh, he's an activist. Oh, cool. And in real life? Yeah. What's he an activist for? For civil rights. Let uh, me help you. Oh. Um, oh, thank you, dear. But he was also... Uh, fuck. He's in a bunch of. He's an actor, also. I'm trying to remember what uh, what else he was in. He was in Grey's Anatomy, but he was also in The Cabin in the Woods. Oh, he's like yeah. the really, the know, really smart guy, the really smart, cute guy. He was a smart guy that they kept trying to like put into tropes and shit. Yeah, and it, like he. Run 12 miles, now five miles away from your goal. He just threw that bottle at him. I wonder, like, what kind of effect, like, so the androids, they look exactly like people. I wonder what kind of effect that would have for uh, organics, who call the humans yeah, organics, organics, to relate with other organics. You know what I mean? If they treat something that looks exactly like a person, do you think that affects how they relate to other people? Not, like, not people, I mean other I, humans? I do think that, because, you know, that woman looked at Connor, and the second she saw that little blue light on his head, mm -hmm. I, she immediate her tone immediate towards him immediately changed. But I'm just wondering, like... That guy threw the water bottle at his android assistant, and then he immediately ran into a human woman not giving a shit. Mm -hmm. So I wonder, like, if you are constantly around, basically, slaves that look exactly like Press you. Press R2 to use GPS. Slaves who look exactly like you. Do you end up treating everyone like shit just subconsciously because you're just like whatever? Six AM is screaming. Back to this again. Oh my god, one of the squares is bad American slavery allegories. Yeah, I know. Do you want I'm saying do you wanna count the uh Yes? I mean mostly just because we want some gushers. Yes. We should point out that uh, David Cage has been accused of an inhospitable work environment that includes some racism and sexism, so just, let's just... Okay. In case anybody is not familiar and is wondering why we kind of like have a little bit of skepticism about well, yeah. the, the game's ability to... Uh, Retrieve order 847 at Be Bellini Pants. Okay. Bellini Pants? Bellini paints. Maybe. Where is Bellini paints? Punch. She press the GPS thing again. And does it? Oh. Yeah. Good job. How do I run? Nope. 
Ooh, weird camera angles. Awkward camera angles. I don't know that that's a bingo square, but it really should be. No. I mean, I think well, I think awkward controls definitely is somewhere. The controls are a little bit. He's just floating to the left. Arrived at Bellini Paints. Ooh. Oh no. It's got heavy rain controls. Yeah. <laughs> What? I'm doing that. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're heavy raining it? Yeah. <laughs> Identification verified. So we pick up our order. Here is your order number 847. Oh, I was that hoping. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. All right, they deserve to take us. <laughs> Package collected. Take bus home. Are you? I'm just being an asshole. Okay. Thank you for using Cyberlife. For anyone who didn't play Heavy Rain, that was a that was very, a big thing. That was a big thing. We're like trying to figure out how to open up an orange juice. You're like, oh, it, uh, 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 remember cutting that fucking orange? I couldn't do it. I never felt like more of a failure of a father. <laughs> oh, hold on. It, it's queuing you. Yeah, I have to go okay, around over there. there. I'll give it this. It's good. There's some cool designs going on in here. Oh, hold on. Wearable biosensors. I want to. Look at this. See, this is one of the issues with like the the camera angle stuff. Wearable media player biosensors bus stop is not this way. Oh, I guess that's what in our eyeballs. Get yours today from Cyberlife. Yeah. So. Hey. Are you listening to this? Yeah, I'm gonna look at this first. Pick it up. 35 out of employment, millions out of work. Are we going to do something? Yeah! Uh oh. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? No kidding. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. This little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Uh oh. You got this, you got this. Get out. Your job stealer. Oh. Take him out of here. Yeah. You just. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah. Waste it. Do it. All right. Enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. What is he gonna learn? He's an android. I know, right? Damn it, I'm gonna have to find you. You can take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. Run along. Like, their programming is written by people. <laughs> so, like. <laughs> Why go after you go after the android? You're not even fixing like what you perceive to be a problem. The problem is capitalism, dude. Among other things, like I don't know, write angry tweets at the devs or something. Write it at the company who builds them. Yes. Like not the people. It's the system, not the people, who cause the problems. We're not talking about all systems. Sometimes it is the people that cause problems, but in this case... Like, for example, people get mad at immigrants for taking cheap jobs, but you should blame companies for demanding that the jobs be done at such a cheap price Yeah. that only desperate people will take them. Yeah. So, it's not, like... Yeah, It's I not, mean, like, poverty's fault. <laughs> it's... People taking advantage of desperation's fault. Mm -hmm. 
So, like, the Android didn't do it. The person who built the like, Android did it. And, like, if a company doesn't want to pay for skilled labor and chooses to automate jobs, like, that's on the company, not the robot. Yeah, the robot didn't do anything. The robot just was made because... Hey, look at what... Oh, so I want to see... You can't, you can't see them until you unlock them, but... No, 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 but I, I'm just, uh... Looks like there was a few things we could have seen, but didn't... Yeah take advantage of that people are going to yell at us on the comments for yell at us in the comments 